Hey guys, this is Chris again. Today I'm going to be sharing with you three websites where I am looking for audiobooks for myself and I hope you will find this information useful. For those of you who are here for the first time, my name is Chris. Uh, I am a data analyst based in Germany uh, and here on my channel you will find some tips and tricks about self-education, learning languages, um, career changing and motivation. So let me quickly guide you through uh, the websites that I want to mention today. Uh, it's going to be three websites. Uh, first is LibriVox. It is LibriVox free public domain, as you can see, and uh, here you can either uh, become a volunteer and read um, some book or uh, actually go through catalog and listen. It is completely free. You can look for the book that you are interested in uh, here in the search bar. Well, let's see, Jack, uh, Jack London, for example. And here you can see the author and you can go through all of the books available and they will maybe in different languages see uh, but in the end you just go um, you just click the name the title and uh, yeah here you can do something like that you can subscribe by iTunes and you can get this book downloaded in your iTunes and listen to it both in computer and on your Apple devices, which is, uh, I find it really cool. So next website is uh, Audible. I will uh, link all of them uh, down below. Here, uh, this is not for free, but here uh, is a huge selection of the books. You can uh, look for any book that you possibly can possibly imagine and you will find it in audio version. Well, most likely you will, uh, but I think it's all developing and uh, growing so fast that I think uh, you will be able to find absolutely anything you want very soon. So as you can see, you can uh, actually uh, uh, listen to those books on your uh, either Apple devices or Android devices or uh, Windows devices and also on Amazon gadgets, which is... Um, for example, um, Kindle. When you subscribe to the Audible uh, on a monthly basis, you will pay something like 10 euro a month and you will get one book for free. And the rest of the books you can just uh, buy extra if you need. Like for example, now here, um, you can see that you can try it for, uh, for free. If you subscribe to their uh, 30 days uh, test uh, mode, uh, or a regular price is like 17, 20, 30, so I think the, you can save like a lot of money if you do so. And the third website is the website that I absolutely love, it is Blinkist. Uh, I, am a, I am a big fan of nonfiction. It is non-fiction literature um, uh, where uh, it is approximately 10 to 15 minutes per book where you can actually get the review of every single uh, book that they have in their library. Uh, for me, it is not only the overview of every book that I'm interested in. Like for example, let's see, um, four hour work week. Here you can press play on the bottom of the screen and listen to the text or you can read it quickly and uh, move to the next chapter. To the next chapter well it's not a chapter it's called blink here so basically every book has something like eight or ten blinks and you can get an understanding of what will uh, be in the book and maybe um, buy it later like a real book here you can see the categories of the books you can find here and uh, it is not for free that is the sad news but um, it is really, really worth it. I mean, you can try it for 24 hours. There is a trial, but it's really cool. It is really great format to listen to it, for example, while driving to work or while uh, waiting for something. It is very, very high concentration of knowledge. If you enjoy nonfiction books, and as I do, most likely you will enjoy this website as well. So let me know in the comment section down below, are you actually uh, able to uh, sit down and listen and focus and absorb or are you multitasking while listening to audiobooks? Thank you for watching, subscribe, like this video and see you next time. Bye!